Stephen Lee. I'm from Elizabethtown, Kentucky, which is about you know an hour away from Bowling Green here. I'm Cody Willett, Louisville, Kentucky, about the same deal. So this is cold lotion. This is our 1996 Ford Probe race car, uh, which is kind of weird to say in the same sentence. So this started as a king of the heap car. Our uh, local track here, MCM, every off season in the winter, they have a challenge for cars worth $1,000 or less. Um, it's really just a good time to come out, not be too competitive and just have fun in the off season with something cheap. So we brought this car out, we had a lot of fun and decided we were having so much fun on track with it. Hey, why don't we actually build a tr you know, track rat out of this thing? So that's how this car kind of evolved slowly as it has. Um, and now it's become, it, it, it started out almost as a joke, like it had, you know, orange duct tape racing stripes and splattered plastic dip all over it, uh, Jeep wheels with, uh, you know, little 205.15s. And now we've slowly elevated the prep level, you know, put a real cage in it, um, you know, big wheels and tires. Um, it's still kind of shitty, but it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we had so much fun at King of the Heap, so we were like, hey, let's just bring it to the track, you know, be something cheap, because the consumables are cheap. We could run small 15-inch tires. We actually used takeoffs from my MR2 Spider that I had uh, a while back. And uh, uh, so after King of the Heap, we brought it to a track day here at NCM, and we expected to be like one of the slowest guys, like bringing up the rear, you know, just be, you know, in everybody's way basically and then we turned out to be like i don't know but like 30 some odd fastest out of like 80 cars and we're like okay maybe it's not as terrible like top as top quarter of the result yeah you know strangely and this was you know so we're like this is pretty fun so we decided to you know like actually get an alignment on it and put some you know actual brake pads on it and we brought it to time trials nationals last year and we had so much fun and i think we finished around 40th yeah, 30 um, and 40, though, well, time-wise. Yeah. It was 34th out of 90, no, 123? Yeah. Anyways, we, we finished fairly high up on, on Time Trials Nationals last year based on just the lap time on the full course, and we had so much fun, and we decided that, you know what, it's probably time for some more safety gear because we're going relatively quick. Uh, we were also taxing the brake pads on it and, and nuking those little 205 <laughs> uh, tires on it. So uh, this summer, we... We had a cage put in it, put in a containment seat and harnesses, um, went to 17 by nine wheels um, all around on it, and a junkyard big brake kit, which consists of Mazda Millennia front calipers and 3000 GT VR4 rotors, so big like 12 and a half inch rotors. Protege 66, MX6, all those, uh, that Mazda family Millennia. of cars, Mazda Millennia. A lot of that stuff fits, and the KL came with a lot of that. Um, this actually, you know, I had this car back in high school, and it actually sat for about nine years before we did the King of the Heap thing. But it originally, it had a full KLZ, which is the JDM version of the uh, of the KL. Well, that spun a rod bearing, so now it's got an American uh, short block. It's a new old stock one I bought off eBay, 400 bucks, but it was still in the brand new in the Ford box. And it's got the Japanese top end with the you know better heads, intake cam. But um, the, the American bottom end is lower compression, so it's like slightly, slightly worse than the yeah, like 9.2 to JDM. one versus 10 to one. So just a little bit. Yeah. Um, so it probably makes like 160 to 170 at the wheel, maybe. Um, and we've done a couple little things to it, you know, bolt-ons, eBay bolt-ons, really. Yeah. So it's, it's got a Takiko Aluminas with ground control coilover sleeves. They were take takeoffs from, a, what is the name? Sell like, 92 sell like a half track from the GR on board. Yeah, they were from his MX-6. Or Swank Force 1. Swank Force yeah. 1, yeah. <laughs> Swank Force 1. They were his uh, takeoffs, $300 and a bottle of bourbon. And it's got a big rear sway bar and a couple other minor things. Well, you have a lot of time to think about your life choices on the straightaway, you know? There's not much. Not Especially relative to some of the advanced rear cars. Correct, yeah. But uh, corner inch, pretty good. It's, it's surprisingly neutral. Um, you can get a little bit of lift off or corner entry oversteer, which is a little exciting, but uh, but, it, but it, it's, it's not bad. You just have to make it all up in braking and corner you're not going to chase anybody down the straight line. <laughs> it's, it, it doesn't handle quite as well as like a, a really well prepped Miata, but it's a lot faster in a straight line than most of your NA basic Miatas. So that's kind of the, the performance realm you're in, you know, a really well prepped MB or something. I mean, the goal is always going to be to go faster and have fun in it, but uh, the long-term goal, we want to do endurance racing with it. We'd love to do like, you know, a champ car race or a WRL, something like that. So we made sure when we built the cage or when we had the cage built, <laughs> uh, 
We uh, shout out to Sean. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Slambert Engineering. Yeah, he, uh, we made sure that it fit the cage would fit all these endurance uh, uh, club rules and whatnot, so we could take the car there in the future. Big thanks to Matt Busby for creating yeah, King of the Heap because otherwise this pile wouldn't have been. Yeah, that was know. kind of the impetus for like, hey, well, this thing's been sitting in the driveway for nine years and it's free. Let's do something with it. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Thanks, Matt, for putting. Thanks. And we have such a good time in the winter.